successfully launched uh, at an alien uh, space rocket from French Guyana in the VRs today. Blasting off from the Arian launch complex in Coro at 2.07 am, the Arian 5 vehicle injected uh, the GSAT-11 into the orbit in a flawless flight lasting about 33 minutes. Weighing about 5,854 kilograms, GSAT-11 is the heaviest satellite built by the ISRO. GSAT-11 has a mission lifetime of 15 years and it's the third in a series of four satellites aimed at achieving the government's ambitious target to provide high data connectivity of 100 GPBS in the country under the Digital India mission. Speaking after the successful launch, the ISRO chairman said that GSAT-11 will play a vital role in providing broadband services across the country. Just uh, six days after an excellent mission India has, that is PSLV launched that the hyperspectral imaging satellite from India. Today, India has achieved a major milestone as its 100th satellite built by ISRO, which is, happens to be the heaviest, largest, and most powerful satellite ever built by India, is successfully launched by Ariane 5 today. Let me once again thank and uh, compliment my team ISRO for making the satellite and also making that all the efforts to put that uh, to the end orbit. In this juncture, I wanted to thank specifically that uh, Ariane space. When we missed that launch target of May 25th, and uh, with all our efforts, with the help of Ariane space, we could achieve this launch this year itself. I must specifically uh, thank that Ariane space for this, for this uh, great gesture given to us. Also, that uh, I would like to uh, compliment and congratulate my our co-passenger, the Comsat, for the wonderful. Uh, mission as well as for their, their future mission operations. I want to express my deepest gratitude to two very special partners since the beginning of their space ambitions, ISRO and CARI. 37 years, 20 successful launches and more than five tons separate the satellite EPOL launched by Ariane 1 and GSAT 11 launched by Ariane 5 tonight. So tonight is our 22nd success for Israel.